Yes, student, today we are going to start. We are going to start the part three of the factorization of uh, algebraic expression. So, in the last part two, we have learned about the division of the algebraic expression. So, let's recall few points about from the last part two. So, today we will start the part three. Before that, before we start the part three, let's recall few points of the division of the algebraic expression. Here we have already uh, learned in the part two that we recall the lower exponent that is division of lower exponent is there for division of the algebra expression by another expression. There are a few steps that we have done already in the part two. Just we are recalling these things. We write in the form of fractions as the divisor is a denominator. Step number two, factorize the denominator as well as the numerator. Step number three, cancel the factor factor common to the both numerator and denominator, and then we will get the simple things. So, we have uh, come across to few uh, uh, examples of dividing monomial by um, uh, monomials and the next one by monomials, dividing the monomials by the monomials. Yeah, this example we have done in the last part, in the second part and again dividing the polynomials by monomials also we have concluded in the last part and another one is dividing the polynomial by polynomial. This is another method that we have uh, seen in the last uh, part number two also. This is a division form, in a long division form of uh, polynomial by polynomials. So this is a step where we have already concluded in the uh, last class, last part also and then we have already calculated exercise 14.3 uh, question number five by both method. One is by splitting method and one is by the long division method. Today also we are going to, uh, uh, we have to calculate one example for the dividing a polynomial by polynomials and then here is the question, dividing part number 3, this will be the part number 3, okay, dividing a polynomial by polynomials, that is divide a cube by b cube a cube minus b cube by a minus b and check by the long division. We have to be uh, calculate by using the long division method. But this will be the divisor, dividend and this will be divided and then we have to check. We have to calculate by using the long division method. Now we are revising this question again. This is very important that is why. So let's see here. Yeah, this one is a, we have already seen in the learning uh, part, uh, part two also how we are going to divide the monomial by monomials in a long division method. So this will be the divisor. So we will write here a minus b, a cube minus b cube. Here we have to divide these two. So here comes the term. These two will be divided here first. What what will the answer? The quotient will be the a a square. Here comes a square. Here we have to write this a, a square will divide it to uh, multiply to this divisor and the answer will get a, a cube minus a square by b. So we have to write here a square. So in this case here we have to give the uh, uh, leave the gap to write the unlike term. So here comes a cube minus a square b. Okay. We have to give the we have to give the leaf gave to write to write the unlike term because a square b a, a square b is not equal with a b cube. These two are not uh, like terms, so we have to put the gave here and uh, here we have to write. So here comes minus minus minus. This will be zero. Here comes minus minus. This will become plus. Here come a, a, a square b. Put down this minus b cube. Understand? So here again we divide with this two. This will become a dividend and this with this divisor with the first uh, term we will divide with this a square by b. So here comes a square b by a. Then answer will be the ab. Answer will become ab. This AB will divide to this term again, uh, this uh, div uh, sorry divisor. So AB becomes, here comes uh, the quotient will be plus AB. 
Here, if you, if you multiply to uh, the uh, cosine AB with uh, A minus B to the divisor, then you will get A square B minus A B square again. Minus plus. This will become again plus B square. You put down this B cube again. Now, again, you hear again this two times, this uh, A has the, the A divisor A, this term will divide with again this uh, dividend, this will become the dividend again. So again here, let's see, A B square by A, the answer will get, you will get the answer that is B square, right. So b square plus b square will become again the quotient. Then this quotient you have to divide with the divisor. You will get a b square. Then minus b cube. Minus plus. The remainder will become zero. Understand? Here leap gave to write the another time. We have to give the gift because we are not getting this uh, b cube. So we have to give the gift and to find out to get the answer B cube also, to get the remainder 0. Understand? So again, we are getting these two answer, uh, remainder, we are getting remainder is 0 and the quotient is A square plus AB plus B square. Understand? So here comes since, since the remainder, now we are going to say again, remainder is 0. So, A minus B is a factor of, factor of A cube minus B cube, right. So now we, the, the question is checking also there, we have to say. For checking, we have understand, we have, we have known that dividend is equal to divisor into cosine plus remainder. Same thing we have done in the, early, in the lower class. So which one is the dividend? Dividend is A cube minus B cube. Which one is the divisor? A minus B into cosine is A square plus AB plus B square and the remainder becomes zero. Now let's find out whether the, this cosine is correct or wrong. If we get a dividend, then the answer is correct. The quotient is correct, right? So here, if you multiply with a square, a square, a, 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 a will multiply here. A cube plus a square b plus a b square. Now again, by b again. Minus a square b again. Minus a b square again minus b cube here comes a cube a square b a square minus a, a, a square b can be cancelled plus a b square minus a b square can be cancelled so we'll get b cube then we can say that left hand side is equal to right hand side then we can say that the uh, uh, a square plus a b plus b square is a correct answer for this uh, this question. Understand? We can find out by checking also whether our answer is our question is correct or not. So we are getting left hand side, right hand side is equal. So we can say that a square plus a b plus b square is a correct answer for the given question. And then we can say that a b, a minus b is, is a factor of a cube minus b cube because a minus b can divide a cube minus b cube without remainder zero, without giving any remainder. If there is a remainder then we can say it's not exactly division by a minus b uh, to the a cube minus b cube, understand? So this also is the important part for the, this uh, factorization of division, dividing a polynomial by polynomial. We can Find out the answer by using the long division method also. Next, we will have the last topic of this uh, the uh, factorization. Next part that is uh, 
to find uh, finding the errors this is the last topic of this lesson so for this topic we are going to start uh, we are going to explain in the exercise 14.4 we'll calculate the exercise 14.4 and we'll see how we are going to correct the statement of the given the question so the first question we have find that find the find and correct the error in the following mathematical uh, statement now for this topic we are going to calculate the exercise 14.4 and we will find out um, what is a uh, uh, find the correct and uh, find and correct the error for the given statement the first one is question number roman number one let's see let's start with roman uh, question number one that is 4x minus 5 is equal to 4x minus 5 now we are going to uh, calculate whether the given uh, statement is correct uh, if, if, if this if this is wrong then we have to correct if the statement is wrong we have to correct the statement understand now, now let's see first find out the left hand side this side 4x minus 5 this is the right hand side that is 4x minus 5 the answer come 4 if you multiply this uh, 4 by uh, in the uh, 2 4 uh, x minus 5 your answer will get how much 20 4x minus 20 but in the right hand side you have get the answer 4x minus 5 whether these two uh, that means right hand side in the right hand side and left hand side is not equal so the right hand side is uh, wrong so the given statement is wrong so the correct statement will be the the correct statement is 4x minus 5 is equal to 4x minus 20 is a right answer if this statement is error we have the error in the, this statement because left hand side and right hand side is not equal so we have to find out answer and we have to give the correct statement this will be the correct statement this is for question number 14.4 uh, question number one now we'll have again question number five Question number 5 is 5y plus 2y plus y minus 7y is equal to 0. We will find out the answer for this. So the left hand side, in the left hand side we will see 5y plus 2y plus y minus 7y is equal to in the right hand side is 0. So if you plus all the, these are all the light terms so we can plus we can add up so 5 7 8 8y minus 7y is equal to 0 now 8y is equal to 8y minus y is equal to y y is equal to not the answer is not 0 so it is not equal with left hand side and right hand side so we can correct the statement correct statement will become is 7 5y plus 2y plus y minus 7y is equal to y that means 1 okay 1y one so this will be the correct statement this statement is error they have, uh, we have the error in this statement so we are going to correct the statement again now let's see next question that is a uh, question number 7 again next we have question number 7 that is 2x square plus 4 bracket 2x plus 7 is equal to 2x square plus ix plus 7 now here again this will be left hand side this will be right hand side left hand side right here left hand side plus 4 2x plus 7 is equal to in the right hand side we have 2x square plus ix plus 7 now here square of these two become 4x square plus 8 sorry 8x plus 28 so in this side we have 2x square plus 8x plus 7 whether this uh, 
answer is equal with the right hand side if, if, is the answer of left hand side equal with right hand side no this is not equal to because this statement is wrong so the correct statement therefore the correct statement will be the the correct statement of this expression is 2x square sorry plus 4 2x plus 7 is equal to 4x square plus 8x plus 28 will be the correct statement for this question. So in this way we can find the we can find and correct the error in the this mathematical here expression. So next we will have uh, question number 10 again. Number 10 we have to substitute the value of x as minus 3. Okay, let's see. Now for question number 10 we will have question number C. There are three questions A, B, C. Now we will we, we will calculate we will calculate question number C. Here comes x square plus uh, 5x gives this is a question gives minus 3x square plus 5 minus 3 is equal to minus 9 minus 15 equal to minus 24. We have to find out whether this statement is correct or not. Now let's see. By putting the value of x as minus 3x square plus this one is 5 into minus 3. Then we get the answer as minus 9. Here comes minus 15. That will, you will get the answer is minus 6. So this statement is uh, the given statement when you substitute uh, x is equal to minus 3 the answer is not 24 you will get the answer is minus 6 okay in this way we can substitute the value of x or y or z according to your question okay next we will have question number 17 next we will have question number 17 that is question number 17 exercise 14.4 Question number 73 x square plus 1 3x square equal to 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Now whether we, are, we have to find out the given statement is correct or not. Now let's see. Left hand side and the right hand side. Here comes in the solution we have 3x square divided by 3x square plus 1 3x square. This is a left hand side. In the right hand side we have that is 2. Right. This is a right hand side. The answer we got 2. Here if you divide these two you will get 1 plus 1 3x square is equal to 2. Now whether this left hand side and the right hand side is equal or not. No. This is not equal. This is wrong. The answer we get is 1 plus 1 by 3x square. So the correct answer, now we get the correct answer is, correct statement, correct answer, we get the correct statement is equal to 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1, 1 by 3x square will be the correct answer, not 2, because 2 is not equal with 1 plus 1 by 3x square, understand? So next we will have uh, question number 20. Now we'll have question number 20. This will be the last question for this question for exercise 14.4. Now again 4x plus 5 is equal to 4x. Equal to uh, 4x plus 5 divided by 4x is equal to 5. Whether we have to find out whether this statement is wrong or correct or wrong. So here come the solution is 4x divided by 4x plus 5 by 4x is equal to 5. Here comes 1 plus 5 by 4x is equal to 5. Whether this left hand side and right hand side is equal? No. The answer is not equal. So therefore the correct statement uh, the correct statement of this answer is equal to 4x plus 5 by 4x is equal to 1 plus 5 4x. 1 plus 5 by 4x will be the correct answer. This is the last topic 
uh, in the last exercise for this factorization for chapter number 14 so next we will have uh, we have completed up to chapter number 14.4 we have completed all this exercise and we have completed explanation and all so we will have a uh, few extra questions let's see few extra questions for this prime uh, for this factorization this is a last topic for this chapter number 14 this is not included in your in your textbook ncrt but we have to learn it's important so we learn in class 9 also so we have learned early uh, we have uh, we will learn today it's a very simple state now factorizing expression of form a square uh, a x square plus b x plus c this is in form of the uh, splitting the middle terms let's see here so first we have to do we have to do like this x square plus b x plus c that means th this will be the product and this will be the sum that means find two numbers two numbers whose product is a c n sum is b okay so this we call it the splitting of the splitting the middle term by using this formula we are going to find out the factorization to factorize this type of trinomials this, this is a rule this is a rule is that to factorize to factorize trinomial of the form that is a a x square plus b x plus c find the two numbers two numbers whose product is a c and sum is equal to b okay now we call it this type we call it splitting middle term we call this splitting the middle term let's see one question here and then you will understand first 15x square plus 19x plus 6 we have to factorize this uh, this number so first what we have to do is product product of these two that is uh, a and c a b c understand a b c so a and b 15 into 6 we got how much 90 now find the factors of 90 whose again sum is 19 now factor of 19 we got a factor of 19 1 1 and 90 2 45 3 30 5 18 we have to find out the factor like this 6 15 and the last one is 9 10 so you plus 9 and 10 you will get 19 so here comes here so we write here 15 x square plus 19x plus 6 equal to 15x square now we have to split the middle term so how will you split 9x plus 10x plus 6 now we have split the middle term here now the question we have we will take the common common to both now here come uh, these two will be in one group these two will be in one group okay now which one will be which one number we can take common three we can get 3x as a common answer will be the 5x plus 3 in this case also again uh, we get uh, we can take common as 2 then this will be the 3 uh, 5x plus 3 here comes here comes now we have uh, two we have already split this uh, two numbers and uh, that is uh, uh, 19x in the form of 9x and a 10x and then we take the common of these two two terms 
So here come this term and this term are common to both. So we can take 1. And which term is not common? 3x plus 2. This is a required answer. This method we call it the splitting the middle terms. Okay. By splitting the middle term also we can find the prime factorization of a, any given numbers. Now let's take another example which has the negative sign. 8x square plus 10x minus 3. Now here comes what is the factor, what, what is the product? In solution we have product we have that is uh, 8 into minus 3. We have 24 minus 24. So we are going to find out the factors which will get 10. That is 8 into minus 3 we have 24 minus 24. We got the minus 24 here. So here we got minus 24. So we have to find out 1 and minus 24 we got minus 24. 2 and n minus 12 we got minus 24 but we are not getting 10 and the minus 2 and 12 we got minus 24 here we can split in this way so 8x square plus 10x minus 3 is equal to we have 8x here come plus 12x minus 2x minus 3 here we have split the middle terms this term so here comes idx, we can take this 2 as a common, 4x, that is 2x plus 3, understand? And in this case again, 1, that is 2x plus 3. So here comes 2x, 2x, we can take as a common, and then those, the remaining is 4x minus 1, is a factorization of this given question. We can find out uh, the factorization by using the yes, by, by by splitting this type of uh, method. We call it splitting the middle term. We can find out the factorization. We have seen about uh, divide, divide uh, division, multiplication, subtraction, and uh, subtraction and the addition of the uh, factorization. So this is another form that by using by factorization factorizing expression of the form that is a, a, a square plus bx plus c that is in form of splitting the middle term this is a, another important topic for factorization this will learn again in the uh, uh, again in the class 9 so this is also a very important topic we have to learn from the class side so so there so then we have come across uh, we have already we have uh, we have completed the level uh, chapter number 14 so in the first part we have learned what is factorization 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 of algebraic expression common monomial factors we have learned we have uh, uh, calculated a few exercise for the example of this factorization and again factorization when a common binomial factors occur in each term that also we have learned in the, uh, by giving the example factorization by using common factor also we have learned by giving the examples and the factorization using the identities we have used we have done the identity a plus b holding square is called a square plus b a b plus b square a square minus a b plus b square by using these two identity also we have completed how to find out the solution and another one is factorization when the given expression is different of two square for this also we have completed the uh, 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 expression by giving the uh, examples and in the part two we have done the division of algebraic expression and the division of monomial by monomial and dividing the polynomial by monomials and again the dividing the polynomial by polynomial by long division method we have calculated already the long division method and the factorization by regrouping the term we regrouping the term also we have done already we have calculated in this exercise and these are the example we have done and in the last part 
In the last part, again, we have completed the factorizing expression of the form of uh, in the form of is a a a square plus b x plus c. This is in form of splitting the middle term. We can use this uh, rule in case of uh, uh, for the factorization also. So we have completed uh, chapter number 14 today in the third term. So in the next class, in the next part, we are going to start chapter number 15. Introduction, introduction to the graph. Okay. Thank you for today.